The following are the demand and supply functions for three competing mobile phone models of different manufacturer. So, using inverse matrix method, determine whether there are prices which would bring the supply and demand levels into equilibrium. For which of three mobile phone models? Models. If so, what are the equilibrium demand and supply um, quantities? So, it is an equilib equilibrium when the demand and supply are equal. So, so using um, inverse matrix. So, we have this um, three um matrix so we have um 92 minus 20 p1 plus 4 p2 plus 4 p3 now it should equal it's when it's equilibrium they have to be equal so we have to set it equal to the supply which is 24 P1 minus 32. So we combine. Um, so we rearrange this. So we have 24P1. We put it here. So minus 24 and a minus 20 is minus 44P1. And then we have plus 4P2 plus 4 P3 equals, and then we put this one, nine, minus 92, and put it on this side. So we have minus 92 and minus 32 is minus 124. So this is model 1, equilibrium. So this means demand demand equals supply so we did that and it's equal to this so we do model 2 so we have 60 plus 4p1 minus 12 P two plus eight P three equals the supply which is um twelve P two minus forty four and then we rearrange rearrange it so we have so we put this um twelve P two on this side so we have four P one so we subtract minus twelve P two minus twelve P two <coughs> equals minus um twenty four p2 and then plus 8 p3 and then we subtract minus 60 here and put it on this side so we have minus 60 minus 44 is equal to minus 104 so for model 3 so we have 76 So we have 76 plus 4P1 plus 8P2 minus 16P3 equals, so 12P3 minus 20. And then we rearrange it, so we have 4P1 plus 8P2. So we subtract minus 12P3 and put it on this side. So minus 28P3 equals minus 76, put it on this side. So minus 76 minus 20 is minus 96. So now we have these um, three models. So 
we have minus 44. So we have minus 44 P1 plus 4 P2 plus 4 P3 equals negative um, negative 1 to 4. And then we have 4 P1 minus 24 P2 plus 8 P3 equals negative 104. And then we have 4 P1 plus 8 P2 minus 28 P3 is equal to minus 96. So, um, so we can rearrange this. So we have minus 44 make a matrix and then we have a 4 then we have a 4 and then a 4 minus 24 and then an 8 then we have a 4 8 and a minus 28 and factor out all the um okay so this is p1 p2 p3 equals minus 124 minus 104 and minus 96 so now let's um call this one a the matrix a so we have a times p1 p2 and p3 equals negative 1 to 4 negative 104 and negative 96 so now if we take the inverse so we have a take the inverse of a so we have a inverse so a times p1 p2 p3 is equal to um negative um a inverse of negative one two four negative one oh four negative ninety six so now if we multiply um a inverse times a then we get the um identity matrix which i assume you already know the identity matrix so we just um this one becomes identity matrix so P1, P2, P3 is equal to A inverse times negative 1 to 4, negative 104, negative 96. So, um, so the inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix is this 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 1. So P1, P2, P3. 3 is equal to a inverse negative 1 to 4 negative 104 negative 96 and if we multiply this then it doesn't um, change the um, matrix so we just get um, this one p1 p2 and p3 so this is equal to a inverse times negative 1 to 4, negative 104, negative 96. So now let's take the inverse of A. So this is A, we have this A. So let's take the um, inverse and um so the inverse of a the inverse of this is equal to so let's write this one p1 p2 p3 so the inverse of a is equal to um minus 19 over 2, negative 9 over 4, negative 2, negative 9 over 4, negative 19, minus 23 over 4, 
negative 2, negative 23 over 4, negative 65 over 4, and 1 over 401. So I just factor out a um, 401. I just um, punch this um, um, inverse into my calculator because I have a calculator. So now we multiply by negative 1, 2, 4, negative 104, negative 96. So now we have this is equal to factor out 104. So we multiply this matrix. So negative 19 over 2 times 124 is um, 1, 178 plus negative 9 over 4 times 104 is um, 234 plus 96 times 2 is equal to 192. Now we do the um, second column. So negative 9 over 4 times 124 the equals to 279. So not minus 19 times 104 is 1976. And then negative 23 over 4 times negative 96 is 552. Then we do the last column, negative 2 times 124 is 248. Plus, so minus 23 over 4 times 104 is 598. Plus, once, um, negative 65 over 4 times negative 96 is 1560. So now we um, combine this. So negative one, I um, one over four o one times one one seventy eight plus two thirty four plus one ninety two is equal to sixteen o four, and then two seventy nine plus nineteen seventy six plus five five two is equal to twenty eight o seven, and then two forty eight plus five ninety eight plus fifteen sixty is equal to twenty four o six. So this is still um, P1, P2, and P3. So I need more paper. So now we um, simplify it. So we have P1, P2, and P3. So negative uh, 1 over 401 times we have 1604, 2807, and 2406. So now we have to multiply this number 1 over 401 times this um, 1604. So we have 1604 times 1 over 401. So P1, P2, P3 is equal to, so 1604 divide 401 is equal to 4. So now 2807 divide 401 is equal to 7. And then 2406 divide 401 is equal to 6. So, yeah, you just um, multiply this, this, and this to get um, the number. So now, this is an equal sign, so this means that um, P1 is equal to 4, um, P2 is equal to 7, and P3 is equal to 6. So, equilibrium.